We're back. Welcome back to Mini Son of Monster Palooza. We're live. We've got one more guest for the day. Just one more. But there's going to be more tomorrow. We've had a great day, and we're going to end this day really fantastically. Um, a gentleman I met just not too long ago. We worked on a project together that we will not talk about at all. But uh, please welcome Jeff Daniel Phillips. Hey. Jog, jogging in. Don't hurt yourself. How you doing? Oh, good, good. How good are to you? See you? I'm excellent. Good. Have a seat. Have a seat. Pull up your table. Yeah. You got your drink. Okay, so so you're the one meeting everybody today, but I'm not, so I don't have to wear the mask. You do. Is that right? I I got tested, so I'm good. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> hey, Jeff, can you slide you in? Oh, just a tip. I knew it was going to be something. <laughs> I knew there was going to be brown. <laughs> Um, no, I got tested, so if you, you tell me if you want mask up or mask up. I want the mask on for a while, just because it gives you kind of a scary I'm gonna, look. I, <laughs> I can't it, hear you. Is, is there a nice Chianti around here? <laughs> Anyhow. Oh. So yeah, you and I met only, what, about six months ago? Yeah. Somewhere in about there. Yeah, right before this all happened. Right before this all happened uh. on a project that we can't talk about, yeah. but it's going to be so cool. And we can't talk about anything about it. I know. So, <laughs> so what am I so doing? So now what do we do? <laughs> so, so that's what I was thinking. I was watching all these uh, these segments. Yeah. And everybody has this fascinating collections, and right. you know, uh, they've worked on all these. Amazing, I, I don't know what I'm doing here right now. <laughs> no, but I mean, you, I just your your history in film. I mean, if you guys are watching and you're fans of Monster Palooza. You have to know who you are. I mean, you know who Jeff Phillips is, right? I don't think anybody does. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't. You've got a credit as long as my arm. You know, no, just like, uh, no. Like so, I, and, and I mean, obviously, you're. I think, is it safe to say you're synonymous? I mean, you're, you're, with the work that you've done, you've done so much work with Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie's great, yeah. And his films. Done a lot. And then, you know, as I start to look at your IMDb pop up, and it's like, oh, I've seen him in this. I've seen him in that. But you're a chameleon. And then I remember when we were talking on the secret project that we were watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met you, but I don't remember it, at Legacy Effects. And you don't remember me. See that? Well, no, but it's, <laughs> it's a funny thing. But that's the thing is that you're such a chameleon and we were throwing makeup on you. And you were one of the original Geico cavemen. Yeah, was that there? We did some at Legacy as well. Oh, really? Oh, maybe, yeah. So, like, yeah, who'd, yeah, you, who'd you do that with originally? Tony Gardner. Tony Gardner, okay. Because I thought we had done some of that Legacy, maybe not. But it, oh no, no, no! At Legacy, you were in a commercial that you were in a frozen block of ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it was. We tortured you with that. Yeah, when you were on that too. I was on that as well. Yeah. It, so you probably came in the Legacy once or twice, and it's like, okay, we got to put this guy. And it's usually <laughs> it, it's you know, it's an actor's life. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, as actors, and I've I've done creature suits. Yeah, yeah. And you end up being a prop. Uh -huh. Stand here, do this, lay right, there, right, right. you know, be uncomfortable for a certain amount of time. And that's what we did to you in that block of ice. What was that for? Do you remember? I don't remember. <laughs> I know. So this is this has been I, the ongoing I've thing. I've done so been... many of these. It's probably like uh, at least Listen. just a hundred commercials without the guy going. Right, right. So I don't even know. I have no idea. It was yeah, in a block of ice. It might have been like a phone commercial. It, or it was sort of akin to like uh, the movie The Thing. Where they yes. were unearthing, like and then, you were and in the block funny of enough, ice. I, I just saw that movie for the first time in a, like like just a few weeks ago. The Carpenter one? Or yeah. That, yeah. yeah. The, now, what about the original? I, no, the original. Oh, the original. Yeah. The no, Har no, not the original. The Carpenter the one. The Carpenter one. And then yeah, there's yeah. the Howard Hawks one. I've oh. never seen that either. Yeah. So I felt really <laughs> like, an, oh, that makes sense. That's what they were trying to do like, when yeah, I was yeah. stuck in that ice. Exactly. Yeah. No, so. No, but so I was going to say, I. The reason I'm here is because I obviously I like you and I and I do, I gel with, you know, um, special effects people yeah. and that whole art department and the whole building props and all that, and that's what my background was. Okay. Um, so I went to uh, I went to school. I went to art school. I was in Italy. I, I studied art, and then I ended up in film school. And I have an art degree and a film degree wow. from USC. Okay. It, but it was always like it was never planned but as, as as i was going it was like oh yeah i really like films but i could do art but then i could do this and and i i if i probably would have known about this when i was early you know starting school that's probably would have been my focus because really? i just just the way you guys are able to create you, i mean 
I go to Tony's uh, Gardner studio, uh, Altarian. Right. Um, I go there a lot, and I just see like just a room full of guys sculpting clay, making a living off of it, and exciting, and they're and doing molds, and they're building things, you know. On it's a big toy box. Yeah, yeah it's, it's so exciting, and it's like, that's the kind of stuff I was doing, but it would be like, uh, I, I used to do music videos, or I'd do whatever. I, I In what department? It, is, is it? Like art department, art whatever department. it was, but music videos back then, okay. it was like, you do it all, you know, you have a truck, and you do everything. Right. And, uh, and it was like propaganda. But it was funny, back then, the budgets, we'd be like, oh, I can't believe it's such a low budget. It would be $170,000. And right. I was just like, now for a music video, it's like, you're lucky to get million. five grand. Yeah, you know? well, yeah, I mean, it's so crazy. Well, back in the day when they were spending millions on, yeah. on no, music videos. Yeah, that's what these were, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. So, I don't and know. I, so I love that, that part of filmmaking. I love the, the creating of it all. I love like... And it just happened to fall in the sink where then so, I got in the, you know. What kind of so art were you doing when you were going to school? I mean, more printmaking, sculpting. So you're a sculptor? Yeah, that's why I, I really dig, like, all this Thanks stuff. For that. Yeah, yeah. Do you still sculpt? No, I don't do a whole lot of anything. Every once in a while I get, like, recruited to do something. I'll build up a, something for someone's play or theater. I was always a guy. So, so I started acting in people's student films. And I'm like, hey, why don't you do this then? And then I started, how am I going to direct if I know nothing about acting, right? Right. So then I started studying with, you know, acting mm -hmm. uh, coaches, teachers. Um, there was one place, um, Peggy Fury, and a lot of people came out of that, like Sean Penn and all these other people. So I, I'd, I was, I don't want to say dabbling, but I kept, like, shifting from there, doing some theater. Then I'd, you know, work for two weeks on a commercial. Then I'd do some more theater, do an independent film. Hey, can you help and that lifestyle, I mean, is very flexible, but I, right. I seem to be busy for, you know, yeah, you're, decades. You're a busy actor. <laughs> and now now it's mostly just about the acting. Now is it, is it, you know, I was kind of asking Ted sort of the same question too, but it's like, so you start out as, as an artist, a major, you know, sculptor, you're, you're, you're going to school for, for art, and then you do this kind of other path where you're an actor. I mean, it, it, now as an actor, do you ever go... You know, like you said, I might have been doing this type of stuff, but you kind of go, how did I get on this path? Did you kind of trip and fall into that, or was it something that was a conscious effort to, like... Um, you know, it's like, it was much more lucrative. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, are you I, saying... <laughs> no, really, it's like, so, sometimes it's like, Jesus, I'm, I'm doing this play for two months, and no one's getting paid, and I'm just like, I can't pay my bills, and then you go off and do a commercial. Right. And then you're like... Wow, and then the next minute I know I'm there's like a dozen commercials I'm doing that year, right? Covering all my independent projects, everything else. Yeah. So. No, I just and I've I've been lucky enough as well to occasionally like puppeteer, yeah, on some of these commercials or be in a creature suit in a commercial, yeah. and you know you can make a very little amount of money in commercials, yeah. and you can make a lot of money in commercials. I usually yeah. stay right around in here. If this is if yeah. this is how much you can make, I usually stay right in it. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm like over here. Oh, at this rub point. it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up? What are you guys? I have a question. Is oh, no. the caveman a partial or full face prosthetic? Full. Full face. Yeah. Full, he says. <laughs> yeah, full. Believe me. I, sometimes the whole body, <laughs> arms, legs, everything. <laughs> everything. Um, yeah, that was that was intense. But I did it for eight years, and you know I'd come in in and out, and, and it's funny. Even then, it's so. Uh, just so you, I'm gonna just start this. I don't really like talking about myself and all this stuff. I'll just let you know. Too late. And I know the camera's there, and I'm. Like, but um, there's the whole idea was I'd come in, as you know, you go with special effects, right. makeup, you go in there like two or three hours before anybody gets there, right? And they work on you for a few hours. Uh, everybody shows up. You're on set. You do your thing. You're you're like amped up. Right. You walk off. Get your makeup taken off. I'd walk through the same group of people. Nobody knew who nobody I was, and I just go ah. home. Yeah. Which is, which is what I preferred. Right. It's like you get so to put I, on a mask. And yeah. You do your exactly. Thing when and I'm able to do that, I, I I could cut loose. Yeah. No. And that's. I'm trying desperately. That's why I'm here, and I'm trying to support you <laughs> and everything. But I don't. I don't necessarily. Uh, you know, well, I was trying to get somebody to come now. with me. I was trying right. to get Doug Tate. I was trying to get Tony. Gar I could just come. Dan Roebuck. I right. I'll call him. Nobody that's was, funny. It was, nobody uh, was available. Uh, 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 a couple of guests ago, Larry Stroth. 
Yeah, was I know. He was Dan. talking about Dan Rubin. Yeah, so he got those rubber masks because he's a it. giant nerd. You know, yeah. it's like, so, yeah. And I go, don't worry, he'll wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the one you'd want. <laughs> It'd be a Yoda mask. Or it'll be your Wolfman mask that you yeah, gave yeah. Larry. You know, yeah. something like that. But yeah. It's funny. I had a lot of that stuff, too, that he was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, from yeah. Dan or from? No, no, as oh, a kid. Like, oh, as a kid. I, that was yeah. my whole thing, too, you know. You're a monster kid. Yeah, 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 all that. You still go in for it, or? What do you mean? Just Halloween. I just, I mean, do you... Yeah, yeah. Are you a fan, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah stuff, somewhat. Or you just kind of like... I, I'm the guy that usually puts the empty box at, at the door, stoop and I said, please, kids, take one. And, uh, and then what and then what happens? Already. The box disappears? <laughs> yeah, and it gets thrown <laughs> through my window. There's a couple right? of wrappers left there. And... <laughs> With bricks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. Now, when, when you were doing The Caveman, did you get the transition to that attempt at the TV show? Do you remember that? Yeah, so... Um, First, we'll go back. So the okay, caveman, I, I was doing some play, and I played this angry uh, punk zine writer. Okay. And it was the, the 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 wickedest dude. It was just not a nice guy. His wife was dying from cancer, and he's out with some sixteen year. old It was just really nasty. But the directors were at that play. Okay. And that's how they brought me in for the commercial. Interesting. Yeah. So he was just an angry dude from the get go. Okay. <laughs> Or at least they saw that in me. <laughs> so then, uh, uh, yes. So what was the question? And you're so not the angry guy. So, yeah, but what was the question? No, but going into the, they tried the. They oh no! So the they TV did the commercial. Show. They did yeah. for years, and then they did. Um, they had people test for the TV show, and then I, you know, I ended up being in like eight out of the eleven episodes. Oh, okay. It wasn't planned like that, though. Sure. Okay. But it was kind of cool because it was the perfect spot for me in hindsight. And I, actually during it, I was like, this is fantastic. Because those poor guys were in makeup every day for yeah. like five or six days. Right. And by the end, you know, their skin was falling off. And right, they were right. just like, you know, reactions. And they, they were just so exhausted. And I'd come in once or twice a week and right. do my thing and I'd get out. Right. And it was, it was like the equivalent. I always uh, equated to like happy days. Right, and it was like those three guys were, you know, Potsy and Richie, and De and then I was the Fonz, and I just come in and I do some something, talk about the chicks, and then I leave. <laughs> it was a perfect, perfect gig. I loved it. Hand me my check, and I will be gone. <laughs> yeah, no, everybody was very nice. I, I really, I loved the other actors and everything. Yeah, it, it, you know, it, the, the thing I, those... the thing that I really loved about the show, though, when it really got creative, was when they would introduce all this lore. Yeah. This caveman lore, like the way we gamble, or the way we, you know, we right. have the holidays and stuff. And it was so cool. It was so right. funny. Because you have to make up a whole... Yeah, and these guys know. were great. And again, the special effects department and, like, these bone games and different, like, you know, dice and stones. And they were just, like, It's it kind of like fun, the Star right? Trek, like the three-dimensional chess. Yeah, It's like, yeah. what is that? And it's like, now you have to... But then we had to make it look like it was Regress, like, yeah. it was, make, a, it was, so oh, it was no, fun. We, yeah, we do we, this all the time. Yeah, this is our thing. It was we a do. ball. We roll these uh, bones and we do this thing and it means something to us. Yeah. And it does, I mean, it does have some weird cult following somewhere. Like, uh, yeah. I think in Australia, I think they, people, and it was, it did run somewhere. I don't yeah. know where. It ran here too. I remember seeing it. And only a few episodes. And they oh, really? And then it, it was yeah, gone. Yeah. But there are episodes out there. You can How many were there? All together. I think 11 or more, okay. maybe. Maybe there's a pilot to It's kind of like when I worked on um, The Tick, the first iteration yeah, with Patrick yeah. Warburton. Yeah. And we built the Tick suit at Steve yeah. Johnson's shop. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think there's only like 13 episodes. Something like that. And that was, that was a, a gas to make that. We yeah, laughed what happened then? Every day. It was another one of those weird things where it was like, this is a really neat, high concept thing you know with these strange characters fantastic actors and i think it just hit at the wrong time because the the brand of humor was just so neat and so you know it just and now it's popular again well now they brought back the tick with another actor so uh, there's a question over yeah, here yeah so doug tate wouldn't come with you but he will write in from home no 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 questions from doug tate if he didn't want to be here yeah what and, is and, doug and he should know the answer he says uh I want to ask Jeff how he was able to wear all of the prosthetic pieces, hair and teeth as the Geico caveman and still be able to act so good through the heavy makeup. Oh, so, what a look nice at guy. That. Yeah, what way to go. I owe you 20, Doug. Doug Tate. <laughs> Doug Tate, professional butt kisser. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't worry, I'll cast you in something. Um, no, it is funny, like, uh, uh, when you have that much makeup. Yeah. And you're, you're really overacting. Yeah. 
I mean, you're trying to get some movement out of that, that the right. prosthetic. And um, my eyes are always open or doing this. And then um, when they switched it to silicone, okay, it didn't move as much. And I really? noticed that, and I was just like trying to make it things move. It was just a little thicker. Interesting. Or, so then my head was always moving. Right. So that was my thing. So you thing. had to figure out a different yeah, way like, to work it. I just didn't want anybody to capture like that. Exactly. It was a mask, and it was just kind of always like. Yeah. So it was fun. So I mean, what, what, how did you feel the differences between like, because it started with foam latex and it went to silicone. And yeah, so was, I, it, was I, it a I, different feeling? Or? Yeah, I think it was just, I, I was told this too, and they were saying, hey, why, you know, I go, I don't think I've done anything. Let me try this. Let me try, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I, cool. I, those guys are the, are the best, though. Like, Tony put together such a good group of people. And they would, I've worked with probably 15, 16 different makeup guys. Right. Through Tony. Okay. Over the years. Now, how do you. So it's like when I go, I went to Monster Palooza, and, I, and it was, I think, Wayne Toth brought me to my first one a few okay. years ago. I didn't even know these things existed. Yeah. And he took me. And he walked through like a rock star. Like, he walked, hey, hey, hey. But then I noticed, like, oh, yeah, I know that guy. I know that guy. Right. And all these guys, hey. Yeah. And I even, I, I mean, this is a weird story. I, I did this, um, I did this uh, David Fincher movie, Zodiac. Yeah. So I had this, and there's a crazy story behind that whole thing. But, but anyway. We got I, time. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no. No, but while I was going through this and I wanted the guy to be really crazy and chain smoking and, you know, and then I'm, I'm on the side and the guy's mic at me and he goes, hey, I just worked with you last week or, or like two weeks ago. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying to get in my thing. He goes, right. you're the caveman. Like, he was a sound <laughs> guy from the, from the airport spot. <laughs> so it was funny. just like some, certain people know. He goes, I just heard your voice. And like... Do you say, you just busted my character, come on! No, because I didn't want anybody to know for some reason. Yeah. In my mind, I thought, you know, you weren't going to be taken as serious. Sure. But I then mean, I think after a while, nobody gives a... Yeah, it's like, you know, yeah. it, it, one character is not the other character, and, and the preparation you have to do for one is not the other. And, yeah. you know, you kind of like, it, it, who knows, it might be one of those things like, someone hears it and says, that's so cool, you know. It's well, like, but yeah, you, as, yeah. A, as a performer, you're like, Oh, that might diminish this. Or, yeah, you know. and, and and not that I look down on those types, but it's right. like, oh, this is a commercial. Like this. No, it's not like that anymore, and it's right. not like, you know, the 70s, you're a TV actor. But, right, but right. there was one instance that I, I, I did this other movie, it was called Faster, and I had this, um, you know, a small part, but it was with um, Dwayne Johnson. Okay. And it, we're, it's a heist movie, and we're in the back seat, uh, and we we go from the bank, we get the money, we get in. So I spent a week with just uh, the Rock driving around <laughs> Torrance, and he was just he was a cool dude, real quiet. Yeah. He was just starting out um, film wise. He didn't yeah. do that much, but he was cool, very polite. He was he was he still the Rock or was he Dwayne yet? Which one was he? I don't know. <laughs> no, I, it's true though. Well, no, because I but, worked with him on another film, and he was still Dwayne the Rock Johnson, oh. and now he's just Dwayne. You know, it's like yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. kind of. Start it to took drop a while. These well, just even taking, we take a turn down Torrance, and there'd just be a line of people, like kids to this, because he did the Tooth Fairy. Right? right, right. And it was just like, oh my God, this guy is like, you know, right. the next coming. What What is going on? Yeah. So, he, like I said, he was very cool. So, at the last day, I finished, and uh, the director had some, he had an auction at his kids' school, and we were talking, and somehow he knew, and so I brought him some stuff signed and the like, caveman stuff. Okay. And uh, Dwayne's saying, hey, I said, oh, it was nice working with you. And he's like, what's that? And I go, oh, I did this other thing. And I gave it in. He goes, you're the caveman. <laughs> and it was just like, wow, The Rock thought that was cool. He goes, no. And, it, and it's like, I, I think it's like certain people. And Billy Bob was on the film too. He's just like, whoa. It's certain people that like are stuck in a hotel room and they watch sports and they see those commercials all the time. Over and over, yeah. And and at the time, I didn't even have a TV, you know. I don't yeah. even watch anything. But so it was like I didn't know it was like getting that big. Right. And so like he he goes, hey, he exchanged phone numbers. That's funny. And then he he would text me during a football game. Hey, I see you on. Hey, you on like, again? Look at that. <laughs> but anyway, that so was funny. very nice of him. I started doing that because we started building out the. Um, because Doug Tate does the uh, Jacks Links, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 
So, I mean, it started out with Brian Steele in that suit, and Brian did a great job as the Jack Slink Sasquatch. And then Brian transitioned out of that, and Doug Tate took that over. You and, need somebody to dunk a basketball. Yeah, he's like that. But it's so funny. It's like, I, we'll go back home, you know, to Wisconsin, where I came from. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be walking through a Walmart or a Target, and there's a big Jack Slink standy standing there. It's like, a, take a picture. Like, hey, hey, Doug. You like that, but it's just like there's there it is on the countertop in the Seven Eleven or something. It's like I built that, I built that, yeah, I built yeah. that. And it's like so many times where I've said that, and I've kind of pointed, or my mom will point, she'll know. And I went to the store and just, my son built that yeah, suit. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it's all over the place. But uh, Doug, uh, I, I was trying to get him to come here, but you know he's obviously too big now. I don't mm. know. <laughs> um, what a hot shot, Doug Tate. Just yeah. But um, I met him. We uh, Tony and I did this little werewolf uh, teaser, and um, and so we were just trying to put together quickly. And, and Doug showed up like he go, he wanted to work with Tony. It was a good opportunity, right? Yeah. So I always pictured him in this half werewolf suit, and it was like zero degrees in Arrowhead, snowing. And he's running around in tights with this half thing, and and I had this uh, rented. Uh, uh, John Wayne's actual leather moccasin suit, the whole thing. I was supposed to be a trapper. Okay. I was just like, don't hurt the, you know, it was just like him and I rolling <laughs> around in the snow and trying to shoot around his tights. And oh, so. that's fun. He's a good guy. He's yeah. great. And now, that's why I thought it'd be funny. You got, you got the Bigfoot and the caveman on, Bigfoot but, you know, obviously <laughs> he didn't find it meet? that funny. Huh? When are they going to meet? That's what I, I thought I was going to meet today, but you, Doug's too, you got to talk to his agent. Lines? <laughs> uh, I guess we got to call his agent. Exactly. <laughs> now, I mean, that's, anyway. it, it's the fun thing about talking to you when we worked on our top secret project. Um, <laughs> you know, it's uh, getting to know you a little bit and then the characters that you're known for. I mean, you play some really dark baddies, you know, that are a little bit. Yeah, you're so, such right. a charming man. No, you've got uh, a beautiful uh, smile and a no, great laugh. Here's and, the thing. So, uh, you know, uh, on these uh, Rob Zombie movies, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, Rob Zombie, you've always got. In Rob Zombie movies, I'm I'm usually the good guy, believe it or not. Yeah. In his world, I'm you know I'm seen. Well, yeah, uh, it's it, it, in that certain world, you're. But yeah, yeah. I'm not you, the guy. You you've know. got a macabre sort of like look to yourself yeah. and all that kind of stuff in the films and all that stuff. And yeah, but I try to remind everybody that, and he and even he said he goes, Jeff, you're. For, and he first started. He goes, uh, you're my Cary Grant. <laughs> and then, then he switches. You're my Steve McQueen, don't worry. <laughs> so that was very nice of him. That's very cool. But it, with Rob, it's, he loves character actors, and that's yeah. That's why I've been working with him, and that's that's why I love working with him because we we all he you know it's like I always bring up the jazz reference. He's like he's the jazz guy where he gets everybody together. Everybody knows their part. Right. And then, you know, we, we, we know when to come in, and then he lets you riff sometimes. And right. if he sees things working, it's like, bring more of that up, take that down. Something sounds false, let's do it again. Let's try. And he's just, he's more organic like that. Right. And that's why it's so exciting. Is there a specific so instance, like when you, like, is there something you can pinpoint? Well, like? I mean, even like uh, this movie 31, I, I, I was supposed to die on like page 15, and then I ended up being one of the last guys to survive. So okay. like, every day I'd show up and, he, and he'd give me, hey, uh, you're going you're to live new page. today. Here's a new page. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to go through this clown or this woman throwing chains at me or whatever, right. or a chainsaw or whatever. He but, just liked throwing stuff at you. Yeah. And, and, and throwing more stuff at Jeff. And quite frankly, I was, I was trying to think, like, why am I coming here? What problem? Sticks. And then I started thinking, like, how many times my head has been crushed in different movies, and like <laughs> and his, his movie, he st had Michael Myers stomp my head. Yeah. And uh, and Westworld, I, um, uh, uh, Christian Tinsley. Yeah. He's great, and yeah, he, yeah. he made a head, and and somebody blows my head. I'm a robot, Why do cowboy keep robot. Killing you? Huh? Well, if you're that, a if fine. you're a robot, you back. die. No, right. they just keep bringing me back. There you go. And that was a great gig because it was you know Nolan and whatnot, but. Um, uh, uh, Jonathan Nolan, and right. and but the cool thing was it was like four weeks per episode. Wow. So so like when you're working four weeks or four episodes, you're working right. months. Right, right. And it was horses, and it was just the coolest. 
was now, is it, that place is burnt down. It's essentially a western, right? I mean, it's, that was when the first were, episode. That, yeah, that yeah, piece yeah. that you were doing is a western. Yeah, so, that was great. I mean, it, had you done any other westerns or? That's the one thing I haven't done that I would just. Oh, it was, I, I love westerns. Yeah. I really Being do. Being able to put some guns on. Guns on, but the horses. Yeah. Those horses are so smart. Yeah. It's like they can hit a dime. They're just like, you know, uh, just a twist of your ankle and they just start turning. And that, it was just, that was so fascinating. Now, had you ridden before? Or? Yeah, a little, but not much. I mean, they would, I would just show you up. You had it on your resume, didn't you? Yeah. Large <laughs> horses. I'm an equestrian. Well, not like <laughs> these guys. Like, right. I'd be riding with a guy. Um, and he would just take me out. They would have me just show up just to ride with him sure. for the day. And I was like, great. And his name is Monty. And Monty's like, uh, he's been in everything, right? And we're talking. And I go, hey, Monty. And I would bring up, you know, Western stuff. Right. I go, what do you think of that Hateful Eight? You know, like, that was pretty treacherous. That stage coast, you know, right. they showed the trailer at the time. And I right. said, going around the corner on the mountain, like that. I mean, right. that's pretty impressive, yeah, yeah. right? I'd always bring it. And he goes, yeah, that was me. <laughs> I was like, I was of like, course it, it was. was. I was like, okay, thanks. Of course Mark. it is. He no. was a Wells Fargo guy too. Oh really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He was just cool. everything. Super nice guy. How old is he? Uh, Been around forever type guy. No, no, I, no, not really. There's just, older guys. I'd yeah. say mid fifties or so. Or, okay, but, so like at least thirty years older than us. Yeah. Right. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> no, like I said, it's like a, a Western is something I just, I haven't touched anything. I would be so afraid, though, that as I work on a film like that, myself, like a behind-the-scenes guy, it's like, yeah. why does Ted have a hat on today? <laughs> why does Ted have cowboy boots on now? Why is it, it's like, is, is, is he trying to get in front of the camera? It's like, well, I mean, <laughs> even at Melody Ranch, I would show up like an hour or two early, and I'd just sit on the porch and just, you know, with yeah, my just, feet up, on a, you know. <laughs> <laughs> rocking chair just watching everybody get ready and you know have something to drink or yeah just get into just the, to hang and get just, into the character yeah, kind of feel so the great. atmosphere of it and although i, I get a little they, extra grit in your teeth <laughs> they turned it all into like a, a 20s like uh for pennywise or no okay. not pennywise what what's that um ava green was in it oh penny dreadful penny dreadful. penny dreadful yeah there you go they turned it into an old town so that western town that was there yeah. for a million years is Deadwood, and yeah, I don't think it's there. Exactly. And where was that? That's Melody Ranch. Ranch. Where is that? Uh, out in Santa Clarita. Santa Clarita. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. There's so, what's what's your ratio? Do you think of like good guys to bad guys that you played, and what? What's I mean, in Hollywood, I'm I'm usually the bad guys, and in commercials, I'm always the quirky. Quirky you know, caveman. If, if I'm clean <laughs> shaven, I'm like no, I'm the quirky uh, neighbor. You know, neighbor. Right. <laughs> yeah. Somebody. What, what do you like to play better? I mean, yeah, I like to, you know, I like to whatever's paying the most. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, that's a joke. That's a joke. No, no, I like, you know, I, I just like to keep busy and keep like excited. Yeah. You know, you like to show up. That's like, like uh, Rob Zombie movies. It's like everybody who's there, and some of these budgets aren't the, you know, not he should des he deserves much more. Yeah. But we just cram all the stuff in. But everybody's on their toes and on their A game, right. and it's so exciting, man. It's just like everybody wants to. Well, I, got, I mean, I, I got to meet Rob once too, and it's it's not the guy, you know. My experience with Rob is not he's not the guy you expect, mm -hmm. you know, because I I knew him from his music and stuff like that, and yeah, yeah. it's like. Oh, this so this so is he's not the guy. He's a cinephile. He knows yeah, oh, films, it's, horror, everything. Yeah, it's amazing. Comedy. He's like, he he, he needs to do comedy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it'd, be, it'd be fun. It'd be an interesting take on it. So, um, what else? What do you got going on? Oh, and it's Sherry Moon's zombie's birthday. A shout out to her today. Really? Yeah. Oh, happy birthday! There happy, you go. Happy birthday, Sherry. So. During COVID and everything, I mean, how how you've been dealing with it's that? Been horrible. Yeah, of course. I mean, but you know, let's well, end, let's so, end on a sour so, note. So yeah. this, we were about to no, but I've been, we were about to go on this big project, I've been, and then they they said no, we're pushing it. Sure. And we're like, wow, I just been two months working like this and that. Right. And that. So that took me like a while to get over that. I've been watching you reading your treehouse. Yeah, I, I, I built a treehouse so I could talk to myself. <laughs> you're not talking so much to yourself because you put it on Instagram, yeah. so you're talking to a lot yeah, of people. I know. That became as that was just like a joke. It was like the sure. most like mundane or most 
dark, you know, passages from biographies and right. seemed to be uh, popular. It was fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, so no, so the, this COVID is like really uh, messing people up. I yeah. mean, even like I'll get these little budgets or people like because they know I make little indie things or music video or whatever, but the work union with you know it's like. Uh, you know, somebody will say, hey, I could get you X amount of money, and it's very low, but I go, okay, I'll write something, I'm working on it, and it's just like, but 50000 has to go to COVID to do the, t I'm like, what? Right. 50000 well, What did we just hear it? about, you know, Jurassic Park, whatever, had started back up Jurassic World in England, Yeah. and they threw another $5 million into the budget or five something? $5 million to, like, deal with COVID just deal with safety it. Yeah, five million. I could deal with that. I'm, I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about half the budget. Sure. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, it's just amazing. And we were talking to well, um, Peter, who was here earlier, about just craft services, where yeah. it's like you know they've got a line of things out on the table now. Oh, really? Where it's like um, I will have that Dr Pepper, and then they've uh, got their gloves on, and they get you, and you do that, or I'd like a bag of those chips, and you get that, and that gets handed to you, and no longer can you oh. like. You know, going to get a handful of peanut M and M's or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably shouldn't have been doing that. Anymore. Yeah. No, no, probably not. Uh, yeah, oh wait, you're not yeah. supposed to just dip your hand into the bucket yeah. of peanut M and M's. I just realized that. You look back yeah, and you're yeah. like, oh. Well, that's oh. something I watch now. It's like I'll watch movies and TV, and I'll be like, I, my filter is now. That's so unhygienic. Like, you know what they're doing? Get away from each other. Stop sharing that bottle. Like, <laughs> they just drink out of the same bottle. Yeah. Do that. Well, even like even when I'm writing like these things, you have to write around like I'm gonna have to shoot that whole car scene just on him and just on him, never together. Right. Because you, you know, like at, in the beginning of this thing, you're so paranoid about all right. that, right? You know, you don't know. Right. Did you get it? No. Got some mosquitoes here. I have a question. Is there a dream project that you would love to be part of that you haven't yet been able yeah, to Yeah, this of? one coming up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the one we can't talk about? Can't talk about it, but they yeah, that's going to be yet. great. Huh? They haven't shot yet? No, they we haven't shot it yet. Yeah, because I'm a makeup artist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one's great. This yeah. one, I, this no. is going to be great. <laughs> and you're great. You know too. nothing. Keep your mouth shut. I, what? Uh, no, you Warren know. Says as long yeah. as Crafty still has red vines, I'll be okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Who said that? You can't get them yourself. There Gordon Tarpley was Gordon, one of Gordon Tarpley. Yeah, he was here yesterday. You know oh. Gordon at all? No. I saw, another, I saw a bunch of them. Another huh? performer, um, you know, really talented guy. Does a lot of makeup work. He, he lets he lets people put a lot of makeup on him and does some fun stuff. Check, oh, yeah. check him out. Yeah, yeah. He's well, a lot of fun. Yeah, there were, I mean... Well, aside from the thing that we can't talk about, is there some? I mean, so you've done kind of you've done horror, you've done western, you know. Yeah. I've you've done, done obviously some action with the rock, you know. Yeah, I've done a bunch. Is is there something? It's like sci-fi. Have you done some like like yeah, sci-fi? Yeah, sci one. Well, well Westworld is sci-fi, but I mean that you were in a western world. I mean, like a, yeah, right. No, but yeah. I did another sci-fi short that I really liked. That there was supposed to be a um, a pilot for something, but they never. It's one yeah. of those things. Yeah, yeah. You do it, you shoot it. Does the it work? The director's not? very young, and he he just needed. I wish someone would have helped guide him. Right. Because he was talented, so, and he I'm sure he's still doing stuff. But that got a lot of attention right yeah. now. And somebody even wrote me lately, like, "Oh, I saw you on the shore on Dust." And I'm like, "What's Dust? Have you ever heard of that?" No. Dust is like, you can get it on YouTube, but it's. All sci-fi shorts. Okay. okay. But I had no idea about it. Yeah. Well, now I got to look it up. I but have it, another question. Yeah, yeah. So, do you have a favorite costume you've ever worn? And is there a costume where you're just like, I have to wear this? <laughs> well, there was a giant block of ice that was made in Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. There's this guy. No, I. You know, I'm always up for the challenge. I don't know. It, I. I have to say, I am one of those people that, when you put it on, it's. You know, every everything's like if I start talking about acting, I'm just gonna put myself to sleep. But, but it's like, <laughs> but it's like it, sometimes it works from the outside in. Sure. When you start to put it on, and then you look in the mirror, and you're in your trailer, and you're starting to get into it, you're like, I don't have to do a whole lot of work. I'm this. This you're thing's already, coming out of me, man. Right, right. Let's just get out of the way. Yeah. It, like uh, you know, uh, this Rob Zombie. I I did. It was Halloween two. And uh, and I was done with my thing, and, and he goes, hey, what are you doing next week? And I go, I'm going back to Los Angeles. We're shooting in Georgia. Okay. And he goes, um, 
hey, uh, somebody fell out. I want you to play this other thing. And it was like, all right, yeah, what is it? He goes, you're a horror show host. I'm like, okay. And, and he just like gave me a few things. I'm like, okay, cool. And he was in the middle of shooting, and it was just like total chaos. And I'm on the plane, and I, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, oh, man, what am I doing? Like, uh, and I'm, I get on the internet. I'm looking up all these, <clears throat> these bad jokes, like bad horror, like uh, Halloween jokes. Right. And, and so, like, fast forward to, like, a couple of days later, I'm in front of 150 extras on, a, like, a stand-up mic introducing the band, telling these jokes. Is this the Uncle... Uncle, Uncle yeah, Coffins. Uncle Seymour Coffin. Uncle Seymour Coffin. And so I did this, this bad accent, and, um, and, and I just started, the guy, I turned him into a drunk, and this, and, like, <laughs> and the audience didn't know, and they were just rolling with it, and I, it was just, like, every time I go out there, and he would just... He would tell me from the side, all right, go out there and do another. And I was just vamping. I was just like right. coming out with him. But it just kind of like, I would have never done that if it wasn't for him, though. Like, I just needed to do this. And and it, I ended up like emceeing his rock shows, like right. like a bunch of them. And, and I made some shorts. And it was just like a fun thing. And and I kind of like ripped off a little Spanguli, sure. which I, I really love. Yeah. He's a great guy and, you know, rich and... And so it was fun, and now I'm and friends with the guy. So it's just a weird, you know. Yeah. Like, is there going like, to be more of that? Because I know I've no, seen some of that stuff not, on YouTube. It, huh? it, no, I'm there's, just. What you're seeing now is there's nothing happening. So I'm no, just no, like no, going but through, I mean, like, 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 I'll put this out there. Yeah. I'll, oh, look at my childhood, you know. Or like, yeah, yeah. There's nothing. I'm, I can't show a picture from set because there's nothing happening. Sure, sure. No, you know? I, I get that. But I didn't know if the uncle, the uncle Coffins, is like something that was going to develop into something bigger. Or uh, it was just more of a hoop. It, like, it was fun. It was like yeah, Rob yeah, had yeah. an idea and said, Yeah, eh, he, he did it. And then thing. I kind of like, you know, I tend to like... Made it your own. And well, no, I tend to like overdo it. <laughs> I just keep going. <laughs> and he's like, he's on the next thing. And he's like, Jeff, Pull it back a bit. Yeah, yeah, back. yeah, yeah. Right. Don't worry, Jeff. <laughs> we'll get back to that later. What's up? Five well, minutes? Ten minutes? Two hands. <laughs> Ten <laughs> How many syllables? One, two, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're about to start this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, let's okay, start. Yeah. yeah, let's turn on the camera. <laughs> Do you put film in the camera? Uh, Check it. What was that? I was going to say, I have another question. Yes. So, like, as an actor in this industry, what do you feel has been... Uh, a key to staying a working actor? Like, what quality do you feel like, you know, are there qualities that you feel like people coming into the industry should have that would, you know, or do you feel like you've just been lucky, or? I, I, I really think I've been very fortunate. <laughs> I really do, because I, I don't know. Um, well, what keeps you getting hired, though? I mean, like, Rob obviously has hired you a bunch of times. Like, what about you do you feel like you bring to the table that keeps you... I feel as soon as I say that, I'll never get hired again. So, <laughs> right, I'm a little superstitious about that. And okay. uh, I'm going to say it's a smile. Uh, <laughs> you never see a smile. You usually have Covered in hair. Well, do you have any advice based on your experience as being... Yeah, all right. So, here, here's the thing. I, I think right now, is as is, is crappy as it is right now with the COVID... It's very exciting because you could get all these people together. The equipment's cheap. You can make your own films. You can make them look great. Um, if you're a young filmmaker starting out, um, people are always willing to help you out. Yeah, I've found. Yeah, and so um, you know, I, I I always I always thought, and that's the kind of stuff I always did was just get the group of people. Even if you take a course somewhere, then you're like, okay, great. I got a couple people that'll show up, you know, hold the boom. I need a decent DP and let's just borrow this and let's write around what we have. You right. know, I have this location, this car, whatever. Let's just make something happen. It's that little rascals it's mentality. Totally little let, rascals. Let's, let's get the gang together and make a movie. Yeah, and I still do that. Yeah. You know, I, and I, and I, I think that came out of theater too. It's like, we used to do all this theater stuff. There was a writing group, and, and a lot of times we would just like, okay, we're doing your play, and then we're going to switch, and we're going to, I could use that part of that set, and you should use that guy. And so, I, I mean, like, I, I help, I, I recommended a bunch of people in the last Rob Zombie movie just because that's the way it works. It's like if you like the way someone's working, right. you need to like make sure they keep so working. So I said the, the other day, you. You, you, you hit me up and it was like, you know, I won't say what it was or anything like that, but this film that you want to try to do. And, and then I said to Alona, I said, yeah, I said, Jeff called me. 
was looking for this costume piece, and I was like, maybe I could build it for him. No, no, I'm sitting there no, thinking, no, I'm going, no, 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 no. No, but that's that no. mentality of like, yeah, but it's I think like, he, he wants to do something cool, and I, I bet you I could build that. You want to be part of it. Like, well, no, you want to be part of it. You know, let's you know. let's do something fun. Let's get the gang together and build. You know, because there's so many people that are like, you know, David's, you know, doing things, and I've wanted to do things. I've got so many friends that are like, well, especially now, doing, it's like, yeah. It's like, what are we going to wait until we could go well, back Well, and I've worked work? on, now it's like the second film with a, a good friend of mine who's coming in tomorrow, Mike Papa. And I've worked with two two shorts with him. And now we're going to do like a third where he's like, we're in the middle of this COVID thing. And, I, and it's like, I'm always like, give me a call. And he's like three blocks away. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, yeah, I'll help you with your costume. Yeah, I'll help you with your, your thing like that. You know, let's let's build something cool. You got a question? Yeah, it always seems that actors that enjoy the makeup effects really sell the characters. Does the enthusiasm fuel the performance? I don't know who I, you know more actors than perform. You know, what was the question? No, I, I so missed it. That. Always seems that actors that enjoy the makeup effects really sell the characters. Does the, the enthusiasm oh. uh, fuel the performance? No, well, you know, I and don't like, know. I gave you a thumbs up. I don't. I don't. <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, you know, and I don't know how you feel about wearing makeup. I mean, I, I used to put makeup on myself all the time when I had yeah, a practice. You know, as right. a kid, you know, I'm doing makeup on myself. Like, now I don't know how I would want people gluing crap on my face. It's well, like... Well, now with COVID, even. Like, well, not even... Yeah, that I that mean, aside, it's just like, what does it feel like? And I, I remember hearing about, like, Gary Oldman. You know, it's like how he got tortured on Dracula. But then he did that beautiful... Yeah. You know, they did that makeup on him for Hannibal. You know, it was yeah, just Hannibal. Like, he did just oh. recently Winston Churchill. I mean, yeah, yeah, and then he did more press. Or you think of someone like Ron Perlman, right? who's just always yeah, he's, under he's prosthetics. Beat. Yeah, he's always like, under yeah, prosthetics, yeah. something like that. Well, as but a I, kid, so it's funny you say that. As a kid, I idolized uh, Lon Chaney. Right. And so I had my own makeup box, like right. a tackle box with all that stuff. My parents got right. and they, they humored me, and I had that skin cap and all that stuff. So it is funny that you, you know. can put on a character and that's so you you got into the makeup when you were a kid too you yeah. like doing that stuff so. yeah and it you know and before i knew it was this whole other world i mean from i'm from chicago yeah and nobody was doing that there and no you know you just you you wanted to be the monster or do this i or think it can it can go both ways whether lose you, yourself whether yeah whether you like the makeup you said you liked putting the mask on yeah yeah so there's some actors who like putting the mask on because it's like i'm free to do whatever i want and in some actors who don't like the makeup, and I've seen this, they don't like the makeup, it fuels the character. Because you can feel, normally we're making you into some type of a, a demon or a creature or a character of some sort. And they're not pleasant characters. We're usually not making people really attractive or, or really uh, 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 pleasant beings. So if you don't like having the makeup put on, it'll fuel that, the, you know, the actor. It'll fuel what they the need. Anger. The anger. It's like, this yeah, is right. horrible. It's heavy. It's like, you know, it's... it's well, it's it's funny now. It's like, uh, I I don't usually do any makeup on a, you know, like a real set. Like a, like a non-monster set. Right. And they get upset with you. But if everybody with their HD TVs, they could see the dude with all the makeup. And, yeah. You know, and like you that guy... It. Yeah, it's like that's a lot throwing of me off. Like, yeah. why is he? He's is supposed he, to be a you know a gangster. Like, why is he wearing eyeshadow? <laughs> he's got eyeliner on. I don't know. Why is, why is, yeah, right. It's like it's a little like, bit of powder, and you're done. I and I only learned that I, I was on a set. I was I was about to be. Uh, uh, they they took me in to talk to the cops or whatever it was. One of those cop shows, and and the trailer next to me was this this big Latino guy. And you could tell he always played the scary dude. And they go, uh, uh, I remember, it's like, Pablo, uh, it's time for you to go to set. Um, we, we're going to do your makeup. And Pablo goes, he just opens the door and goes, Pablo, don't do makeup, man. <laughs> and he just shut the door and I was like, wow. I, go, I just <laughs> learned something from that guy. I go, wow, that guy just said that. So then from then on, Jeff, don't do makeup, man. And it That's worked. Great. That is perfect. <laughs> but they get annoyed. But it, I mean, for the most part, if it's supposed to be a real person, you don't want to have like. Right. Rude. There was a show we were watching just recently. I won't say what it was, but because we worked on it, because we worked on, it. and it was like they've got so much makeup on, but you know, like the high definition, what they're shooting and yeah, what we're people's watching, TVs, you could see it, and it's like they've got so much makeup on, they shouldn't be having that. And it's like, and it, they should have a no makeup look on them, 
But I mean, and it's not the fault of the makeup artist. No. But it's like you are shooting in such amazing definition. Right. And it's like even, you know, even the camera guy should go, hey, listen, take take the uh, powder off of that dude. He's, yeah. He's looking like a, you know. Yeah. Not too tough. He looks like 1920s. <laughs> like I'm in theater here, and it's like <laughs> take some of that off, you know. Uh, well, I think I think we're wrapping up. No, I have today. more to talk about. Okay, now. I'm gonna go, and we're gonna. No. No, but thank you. Thank Thanks you so for having much me. for coming. This have me was, come to uh, the booth. And I'm glad you wore the mask. Of course, I wear the mask. He just made me do it. He didn't even want me to wear the mask. He just made me do it. He doesn't. Isn't that what it is? <laughs> I was like. <laughs> right at the end, after an hour, he can take that off. I'm gonna now. come over there and give you a kiss right now. <laughs> Watch this. Hey. hey. Whoa. <laughs> that was too close. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for keeping this alive. Yes. Son of a monster. I, I have been there. It's been great. And um, In person a year from now. Yeah, yeah. I think it's totally cool because all those cons, I started going, I usually just go when it, there's a project to promote. Right. And I always go with my cohorts. And Richard Brake's a great one if you ever get a chance to interview yeah. him. He's fun. We usually do go up there ourselves. Sometimes we just interview ourselves because he's just, he's, you know, we just play off each other. It's right. fun. And these, this one's great because it's all about the special effects. Right. And, and no, he was the Night King. Right. On Game he of Thrones. So yeah. it's like that, you know, he has his own group, the caveman. It's like all, the, all those people know him and that. And it's right. fun. No, it's great. It's just yeah. a year from now. Yeah. You can all be there. And bring and Tony Gardner in too, by there the way. Go. He's yeah. a good and Wayne. Wayne Todd. Wayne Todd. I, I started working with Wayne. Wayne was another one of those guys that I met a hundred years ago and in, in you know, like thirty years ago. Yeah. And worked with him at Alchemy FX and John Beekler's and King. He's super talented, but he's so busy yeah. with his Halloween town. Right. Yeah, and you go to Halloween Town, go online, you yeah. can see, get some of his no, stuff. No, Wayne makes great stuff. It's yeah. just so much fun and, and all the all the rock stars use them and Yeah. No, and I know he'd been doing work for, for Rob for a while, too. Danzig I got to, I, and all I got that. I got to yeah. work on something for one of Rob's uh, stage shows. And oh, yeah, just, And yeah. I didn't even know what I was doing. Wayne yeah. said, can you come in for a couple of days real quick and build Amazing. something? I was like, yeah, sure. Amazing. So, yeah, he came in, did it, and I didn't know what it was for. And then he told me when I was there. I was like, oh, cool, that's neat. It was yeah. Like, and Wayne's yeah. got, like, a different, in his studio, he's, like, some really dark, crazy stuff. You go to Tony's studio, and there's, like, there's John Travolta's fat suit, and you know, it's like <laughs> it's a whole different, yeah, Chucky doll, and like it's cool. I love going to all these like studios and stuff. You it's come here, and there's a little angry fish guy in yeah. Yoda. So, <laughs> <This guy. laughs> all right. Well, anyway, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for making me thank keep you. the mask on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for tuning We're in. We're out. <laughs> See you.